Hey there guys, I picked up a belt sander. It's a 1x30 uh, central machinery belt sander. If you don't know who central machinery is, that's the cheapo brand from uh, Harbor Freight. Mm -hmm. Now I looked online and I saw similar machines for about 100 to 115 bucks. I picked this up for uh, $39 with the coupon. It's originally priced 49 I got it for 39 with the taxes and everything. It came out to 43 bucks. Now the reason I have an interest in this machine is because I want to use a leather belt and some abrasive paste, the green one, and strop my knives with it. That's uh, pretty much the only use I'm going to use this for. I've seen some videos online where some folks, I don't know how true it is, but they used an 80 grit paper for a belt and then used a leather strop with uh, the green paste on it. And pretty much using kitchen knives, they were able to cut the hair off their arms. That's how sharp it gets it. But I just wanted to strop. I'm going to buy the leather belt and the paste on eBay. They're going to sell for about 20 bucks, maybe 25 bucks. And the machine itself was only $39. I couldn't see spending 100 bucks for something that I'm going to use just once in a while. It's going to be in the corner collecting dust. The uh, This machine has a third of a horsepower motor has a Dutch dust uh, collection edge there you can read over here the table tilts from 0 to 45 degrees and it's also got adjustments on it that will keep the belt running true so for 39 bucks I'm gonna give it a shot the reviews were good online and from what I heard the machines noisy they sell another machine with the I believe it's a six inch disc attachment here for uh, 79 and I could have gotten it for 59 I just couldn't see spending an extra 20 bucks. I'm just going to get this little machine and put it in the corner of my garage. All right, I'm going to do this with one hand, so just bear with me. Let me open it up. Let's see what we got here. Instruction manual. like some bolt to tighten something down like a table. It's probably a table tension bolt. And let me get this out of here and we'll see. Okay, I took the top cover off. Yeah, here's the table. Here's the aluminum table. Here's the machine. Typical Harbor Freight fashion, fully packed and it looks like the, um, what's that called? Styrofoam rubbed off on the uh, cord, but let's, let's get me, let's get it out of here and I'll show you what it looks like. table comes with a little adjustment screw over here. I don't know if you can see it. You adjust it from here and it raises the table and stops it at 90 degrees at the belt. So it goes on here like so. And then I guess this is where that tension adjuster goes into. Which is this thick a jig. We don't need no stinking directions. right here wow this is this isn't that great <laughs> Yeah, 40, 40 bucks, what do you expect? I don't even know if I'm going to use this table. There you go. No, there you don't go. Let's see what we got here. Make it tighter. Okay. Okay, I plugged it in and 
there's your true adjustment screw if you look at the belt there's a bracket in the back a steel bracket and pretty much uh, if you look at it it sticks out a little bit over here but let me go ahead and see if, what happens when I turn it on it's a little bit noisy but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to move the belt over just a little bit to see if I could cover up this uh, bracket if not what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off and file it down so you don't see it I don't want my knife touching this it's made out of steel and it runs great Hang on. It's a little bit noisy, but the quality, it's there for $39. This cover is plastic. It's got a screen in front. Let me open this up and let's take a look at the rollers. Just bear with me. Let me put the camera down. Okay, this is the only adjustment I had to make. You see right back here? Remember I was telling you that this was sticking out too far to the left, which means that the belt had to be moved over to the left in order to hide it? Well, I fixed it. It was just crooked. It was just set up crooked over here. So an Allen wrench, and I just straightened it out, and it seems to be fine. I'm probably going to take this off anyway, So, but I just, you know, my OCD tells me straighten this out. So uh, let's see how far over this gets now. We plug in the machine. Sorry for the shaky hands. Let me see how far that I can move this belt over now. Okay, I got the belt running dead center. Well, not dead center, but center of the roller. There's a roller here, and the roller's over to the left. And now I'm happy. Now I just got to put the table back up, and we're done. This is the inside of it. it. Seems like a hard rubber roller. Let me turn it on. It doesn't vibrate at all. It's got it's got rubber feet. And it's not loud. It's not as loud as I thought it would, would be. And, um, for $39, looks like I won. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm going to do a video once I get the uh, leather strap on uh, strapping a knife. I'm gonna, I think this is 80 grit. And I'm going to see, I'm going to see if that video I saw rings true. If you could use 80 grit paper and a leather strap and some abrasive to uh, get a kitchen knife sharp enough to cut your hair on your arm. And I got plenty of hair on my arm to cut, so <laughs> thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And yes, I would recommend this so far. And it, it, it runs great. I mean, I, I can't say that it it's a bad little machine for 40 bucks. Definitely happy with this. I would have been pissed if it was... I paid 150 bucks with it, not because, not because the quality, but you know I could have gotten this at Harbor Freight for 40 bucks. Have a good day.